everyone! This is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and I want to share with you today the Ferrara Road Pen Roll. Now, this comes from Ferrara Road in South Africa, and um, I was sent this to review and share with you. I was not compensated monetarily for this, but I do get to keep this awesome product, but I will do my absolute best to be completely objective and not at all influenced by its nice smell. So, there you go. Um, the pen roll is $75 and I'm just kind of like showing you the inside. It is, they describe it as made from the highest quality full grain upholstery leather. Now I don't know a whole lot about leather and leather types. I mean, I know a little bit, but um, like I can't identify what kind of, like what kind of leather is being used here. But what I will say is it smells really good, like it's got that really good leather smell, but not the chemical smell that some leathers can have. And it feels really nice, so it's empty right now, but I'll just show you. Like, when it's empty, it rolls up really snug, so it's a firm leather when you first get it, but the more you use it, it becomes more supple, breaks in a bit. The leather also has a lot of character. You can see here, like it's got a lot going on here. And it also has nice pull up. So let me see if I can, like, if I pull on it, you can see it gets lighter. I don't know if that was visible. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to show it to you. Um, details of the, the, the pen roll. It holds six, it's got like six pockets, so it holds six pens or you know you could throw in two pencils or two slimmer items but i use it for fountain pens of course and it has this overlapping pocket with like these snipped beveled corners which is nice it is double stitched at the ends oh wait i'm sorry the wrong side double stitched at the ends like right here and the logo is imprinted right down here or like debossed or embossed i'm not sure mm. um yeah and also up here which is really cute it's a very minimal minimalist amount of branding and logoing and i kind of like that so that's pretty nice it has a single layer of leather for the thong and when you use it so you just roll it up and it's got this little slot here i'm just gonna you do like a makeshift roll up and you stick it through and pull it back into itself. Okay, so there we go. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of like what I wanted to show you. Now I have a whole bunch of pens here of varying sizes. So I have a Pilot Metropolitan, I have a Twisby Eco, I have a Franklin Christoph Model 66, a Sailor 1911 Large, I'm gonna put those down. This is a Pelican M1000. This is a Mont Blanc 146 size, and this is a Visconti Homo Sapiens. So I just want to show you that you can fit in a whole bunch of different sizes of pens. So I'm going to turn the camera down so we can take a look at that. Okay, now we are face down on the pen roll. That doesn't sound right. But anyway, we're <laughs> We are looking down at the pen roll. So let me just move these pens out of the way. It looks like two different hands are here, but it's actually both mine. My sleeve is somehow pulled up on this one. Okay, so this opens up. Let me just show you how these go in. These are really snug little pouches, pockets. Now the clip can go over, but again, it's, it's tight. I think that's great because it means your pens are not gonna fall out. Even if you don't have a clip, they're gonna stay in place. And even if you're, like the flap is just open, they're gonna stay in place. Here's my Twisby Eco. I'm just gonna put this one in sideways because I don't wanna wrestle with the clip. Here is my Franklin Christoph Model 66. Sailor 1911 large, but it's, it's tight. Okay, the Pelican M1000, it will go in. There's no issue there. It doesn't get stuck. The Mont Blanc 146 also goes in. Okay, I'm gonna just take out the Pilot. Okay, so you gotta get a good grip on it because it's snug. Put in my Visconti. 
because now we're gonna roll it up. It looks pretty good. What I really like about this is when you are, if you take it to work or if you're on the go, it sits nicely like on your desk or you know on your coffee table wherever you happen to be if you're at Starbucks and you're writing it's gonna sit nicely and even if like, say someone bumps into your table or something they're not gonna fall out okay so that's great take your flap close it over yeah of course the larger the pens you put in the more bulky it's gonna be and I have fairly large pens in here but it does still roll. I actually prefer kind of just folding it. Like I think it's just easier to deal with if you just fold it like that. And then you take your leather string. Now the first time I used this, I thought, oh, I'll just do this and then it'll stay. It doesn't stay because that's not how you use it. So I spent a couple months with this before I decided to do this review. So what you wanna do is put it through and pull it back into itself. I find this a little too um, short to really give it a snug hold. So what I actually prefer to do is I go like, like I pull it through this way and then I tuck it underneath itself just to give it a little bit extra hold. Now, what's great about the wrap is again, the pouches are really snug. They're gonna hold your pens really safely. What I don't like so much, like what I would like to see more is a, um, a longer thong, just to give me a bit more snugness, you know, a little bit, a little bit more space to work with here. So this is the size of it when it's rolled up and full of pens. Not too bad at all. Um, let me just grab, I have another pen wrap here. This is, oh, sorry, I'm smacking into my tripod. This is a gallon leather tool wrap, also quite full. And what I like is that they have this long thong that I can wrap around it multiple times and tie up. So I just wanted to show, like that's what I was kind of thinking would be nice because I tend to put really big pens in here, nice thick pens. So, um, on the go, it's really nice as a secure pen roll. What, like I said, what I would prefer to see is a longer thong because then I don't have to wrestle with it so much. Like I don't have to hold it down and like tuck this under as much. It'll be a little easier to wrap up really quickly. But the nice thing is because it's so secure, if you like, if you need to move really quickly or, you know, you just need to like, say you're running late for something, you just want to grab it and go, you just grab it and go. Nothing's going to fall out. It's, it's honestly, it's safe. This is upside down and I'm like shaking it and nothing is even budging. So that is really nice. The inside is very soft. So your delicate finishes are safer from being scratched. You know, not, like there's nothing on it. It's really nice and yeah, in here, it's nice and soft. And as I said, it's branded down here, branded up there and that's it. So. I think overall, it's a really nice item, really nice looking pen roll. If you are looking for something, you know, that holds a couple of pens, it's a great option. And for me, really the only thing that I have an issue with is that when I wanna go, if I gotta close it up, because it's, again, because it's short, I kinda have to wrestle with the end a bit, but that's it. You know, it's not really a big deal. And the smaller your pens are, the easier it is to stay shut. But I've got this, again, I've got this full with pretty large pens. So there you have it is the Ferrara Road pen roll. Thank you to Ferrara Road for sending this for review. And I hope this has been somewhat useful for you. I will put a link in the description to where you can get this. Uh, one of my sponsors, Casa della Stilografica, is actually getting these in stock and there is a discount code. You don't have to use it, but if you want to, you can. So I'll put it in the description below. Thank you all for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.